How's it going everyone? So VRChat has recently lowered the limit for avatar download size and uncompressed size. The new limits are 200 megabytes download size and 500 megabytes uncompressed. Going forward, you won't be able to upload avatars that go over these limits, and existing avatars will not be usable unless they're re-uploaded to be under these limits. But what does this all even mean? What even is an uncompressed size, and why do these new limits matter? When you upload an avatar to VRChat servers, it gets compressed into an asset bundle, similar to something like a zip file. The size of this file is your avatar's download size. When you switch to the avatar in-game, the asset bundle is downloaded and then uncompressed. This process reveals the total size of your avatar and all its related assets, similar to how unzipping a file works. This size is very closely related to the amount of memory your avatar consumes while it is loaded in the game. The new size limits aim to improve performance by lowering the memory and processing power needed for avatars. By setting limits on compressed and uncompressed avatar sizes, VRChat ensures that they are optimized and less resource intensive. After all, it probably isn't good if your single avatar is larger in size than the high fidelity world you're standing in. Smaller avatars load faster, reduce lag in crowded areas, and help devices with lower specifications maintain higher frame rates. If you have an avatar that's over the new limits or is dangerously close, there are a few things you can do to optimize it. For starters, textures are typically the number one culprit for large file sizes. Many avatars exceeding these new limits employ excessive use of large textures, usually set to 4K or higher. You should try to keep the resolution of avatar textures to 2K at a maximum, going lower on smaller objects if you can. You can even go way lower on things such as texture masks. In addition, you should never disable MIP maps. While disabling them can reduce memory usage, the overall performance impact is quite large, and it will make your textures look worse. Tools such as Thrive's avatar performance tools can help with finding large textures being used on your avatar and recommend size reductions and format changes in order to conserve memory. We covered texture memory optimization in a previous video, so be sure to check that out if you want to learn more about that. Audio files are another heavy source of large file sizes. On each of your audio clips, I would recommend reducing the quality slider as much as you can before the quality loss is noticeable. Audio clips need to be uncompressed, either at load time or while they're playing. So the primary factor that affects their size is the length of the audio file. So if you can, try to avoid using excessively long audio files. Animations can be deceptively large in file size, especially animations that go on for multiple minutes, like dance animations, for example. Unfortunately, the only advice I can really give here is to not use those animations. If you're using animations baked into your model, Unity has built-in animation compression options for animations in the import settings. You can use keyframe reduction or optimal compression, which will try to reduce redundant keyframes based on thresholds you set. There are a few utilities out there that can help troubleshoot large bundle sizes, such as Happy Robots Build Size Viewer. This tool will show details about the build size of your avatar and help identify which assets take up the most space. It even breaks down the uncompressed size by asset type, showing their percentage contribution and size. Aside from everything previously mentioned, keeping your avatar fairly optimized is an important step in keeping a low file size. That includes avoiding having dozens of outfits all on one avatar, for example. You should try and merge meshes and materials and keep your triangle count as low as possible. It's understandable, however, that optimization to this level is a challenge for a lot of people. While it's not entirely relevant to reducing file size, I want to recommend one of my favorite packages, Dark's Avatar Optimizer. Dark's Optimizer is a Unity script you attach to your avatar, which can automatically optimize your avatar to the best of its ability, either by creating an optimized copy or optimizing the avatar on upload. This tool is not magic, and there are many things it can't do, but it's great for beginners who may not have the time or knowledge to manually optimize. I'll have this tool, as well as other tools mentioned in this video, linked in the video description. In conclusion, adapting to new size limits may seem challenging, but focusing on optimizing textures, audio, animations, and making use of community-created tools make it much easier. Remember, optimization isn't just about meeting limits, it's about making the VRChat experience better for everyone. 
That being said, if you're struggling to optimize and need some assistance, feel free to join our Discord down below and create a help thread. If you want to be the first to check out new avatar tutorials for epic features, make sure to subscribe. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.